What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing another video on the series of True Nos Fundamentals. If you guys don't didn't watch the last video, remember True Nos Fundamentals is going to be a video all about every single tab in the True Nos operating system. So today we are going to be doing the dashboard tab. The dashboard tab is probably the most useful one that we're going to work with because that's the one that you're going to stare at the most to get the most information about what's going on on your True Nos machine. As you see here, this is an installation of Trunas Fangtooth. This is the beta edition. And I haven't touched this at all. There's There's been nothing done to this entire server. I pretty much just stood up this Trunas box, installed beta one Fangtooth, and that's it. So there are no pools here, no apps, nothing going on. And this is the dashboard as it sits completely stock. So in order to actually show the full functionality of the dashboard, I'm gonna to have to create some things like some backup tasks, some storage pools, some apps and things like that. So I'm gonna go and create those and I'm gonna come right back and then show you once those things are running, how this dashboard can be changed and made to be a lot more functional. Okay, we are back. I've done a couple of things that are gonna make this dashboard a little more useful. First off, I set up a storage pool here. You can see I named it Tank. It's just got one disk in it. I haven't really done much with it, but it's there. The other thing I've done is created a backup test. So you can see this replication exists here. So to show you guys just really quick what I did in the back, in the back end, in storage, you'll see this pool Tank exists. This data set, I have two data sets here, and there's a data protection going on where I replicate set one to set two. Nothing really fancy, just enough to get some basics going here. So let's make this dashboard a lot more usable. First off, I don't want this little help thing down here. I think it's kind of useless. Um, that stuff exists all up here. If I click the True NAS admin, all that is really basically here. So I'm not really too interested in that. Um, I also want to change and move some stuff around so it's a lot more useful for what I see up front. So let's, let's check this configure and let's add, move, and save some things around. So the first thing I want to do is I want to dump this True NAS help. I don't need that. This is kind of useful as my network storage, my memory, my CPU usage. Those things are pretty useful. So I want to move my system information all the way to the bottom because that's not going to be, that's not going to change a whole lot. My CPU usage, yeah, I definitely want this kind of in the front. I want to know what my CPU and my memory is pretty quickly. Uh, I also want to probably move networking up here because I think these are all pretty dynamic things that are going to change a lot. Now let's add some things in here. First, I'm going to save this so I can watch the dashboard kind of stick like this. Now I'm going to reconfigure it. I'm going to add some widgets. My widget category here, you'll see there's a bunch of different categories. So I would, I know that everybody's looking, the first thing you see is custom. Uh, custom is not working yet. So you'll see here in, uh, this is still a beta, it's, it's not all the way there. So I'm gonna come back up here and I'm going to go to the apps widget. So let's set up this app. And right now this is set up for Sonar. Uh, and we can do, I have two running apps right now, Sonar and Radar. So I'm gonna do one for Sonar, I'm gonna save that. And it popped up down here and I'm just gonna do another one. Uh, for apps and then radar like this and save that. And now I'm gonna move these around a little bit. I kind of want my apps to be higher up. So I'm gonna move my apps directly under like that and we hit save. There we go. So now what we can see here is some really cool information starting to break down. My CPU usage, I don't know if I don't need this model here. I can mess with this widget a little bit if I wanted to, but I kind of like this the way it is right now. I have my app up here. It shows me CPU usage and memory usage. There's not doing, there's not a whole lot going on with these apps because they're not actually connected to anything. So you'll see the network IO is not super busy. And of course there's nothing being written to the disk. So the block IO is pretty small. So let's configure some more stuff here. Let's see what else we can add uh, in the categories. That's apps. So there's a bunch of different storage widgets as well. So this is the main pool. Um, we can do pool usage. That's pretty cool. Storage. This is already in existence. And you'll see here, we don't have a whole lot of other things that we can do yet. Um, and this is storage six widgets. So let's Let's see what else we can do here in terms of network. Network, we can do interface. We did one for interface. The IP4 already exists. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of fun things here. I don't wanna do help. Memory, we're already using that. There's already one for that. Backup test is already one for that. CPU, there's a bunch of stuff here. This is model overview and temperature. Yeah, I don't even have a, well, to be fair, this is a virtual machine, so this isn't working. This might work for you um, in another way. So yeah, that's, and you'll see here the layout too. I can change the way the apps are. So I can do a quad core like that and just kind of move it around. So I can click this and I can do this for CPU, for example, and it's model and I can do this for CPU. And this is gonna be usage. So we can, we can build little things out like this and make it look kind of cool. So I'm gonna come back out of here. I don't wanna change or save. Uh, let me add another thing here so I can do let me see if I can do apps like that. So I can do apps this kind of way. So you'll see that the apps doesn't support quarter size or that size 
or that size. But we can do, it doesn't do half size either. So the apps only does this big square block. Uh, storage, I think, supports other things like this. It does not, actually. Does it do half? It does not do half. So it's like, you'll see there's limits here for what we can do. The dashboard is pretty cool, but right now I, I would say I'd like to see just maybe a little bit more functionality here. Like this is pretty cool. Like network will allow me to do some really cool things. Network, that's interface. Uh, let's do IPv4 here and then like that. So we can do some other uh, things here and just keep adding stuff around. So I wonder if I can do, for example, can I do CPU? Let's see if I can mix and match. I can do that. So I can do network and CPU all in the same kind of little square thing. So that's kind of cool. I would probably, can I do memory like that? Let me see if I can do memory, one widget. I can do that. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna bump this widget out. So for example, I don't necessarily, let me edit this existing CPU widget like this, and I'm gonna add the memory here like this. Because now I can delete this because I don't need it. This is big for nothing, like there we go. Now that's a lot more, that's a lot better. I'm getting a lot more information here than I was before. Storage the same way. Let me edit storage here. Let's see, does this support quarter? It does not, does it half? It does not support half, so that kind of, yeah, I wish that was a little bit better for storage. There we go, and backup tasks are pretty cool. So there's some pretty cool stuff in here. System information. What else do we have? Oh, this is pretty cool. Was already got all that information here on the right. So I'm not going to really mess with that because I think that, yeah, there's not a whole lot of information here that's going to be better than what it's already showing me. So I'm not going to mess with that at all. But this is just a really quick overview on pools and how it can look and how you can do your rearrangements. So I'm going to save this right here like that. And now I've got a much more informative dashboard. So I would suggest you guys come in here and play with it and just kind of get it to the point where you kind of like it and you feel like you're getting the right amount of information. Remember, this is still a beta. Uh, in the next couple of months, this is going to be released and this is probably going to be a little more functional than it is right now. So I encourage you guys to just check it out. So if you really liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave anything you uh, want to know about in the comments. If you have very technical questions, please. Uh, post a support form post in our discord. And if you want to thank me, please buy me a coffee.